Then of course we have the ready-mades and Duchamp began presenting objects themselves as art. He would select mass-produced, commercially available and often utilitarian objects, designating them as art and giving them titles. His idea is that as the artist, it is his decision to declare things art and what you see is exactly what you think you see on the far right. This is a urinal in the center. This is a bottle uh, drying rack for baby's bottles. And here we have a bicycle wheel on a stool. So uh, the ready-mades also defied the notion that art must be beautiful. He claims to have chosen everyday objects based on on, their react, on the reaction of visual indifference, with while at the same time a total absence of good or bad taste. In other words, he's choosing everyday objects based on the fact that they are everyday. We see them all the time. We don't think about them as art objects, so he's encouraging us to do so. In doing so, he also creates multiple versions of many of these objects. So, for example, Fountain, which is a urinal, well, we're going to find multiple versions of that, and that will subvert the art market because the art market focuses on the idea of an original as well as reproductions or copies. Well, if the artist himself creates multiple originals, how do you deal with that? Not even getting into the issue of the urinal at this point. In doing so, Duchamp paved the way for conceptual art. Work that was in the service of the mind as opposed to purely uh, aesthetic art. So he's trying to start a conversation. It's not about the piece that you see in front of you. It's not about how much the urinal sells for. It's about the conversation that it starts. And that conversation generally starts with, is it art? And runs from there. So it's the conversation that he evokes that is the art, not the piece itself. So he intends, uh, he's not intending to please the eye. He's intending to stimulate the mind. And we see a number of different pieces that he does. Uh, and again, he's trying to make you think about these different things. And in this case, this is literally just a snow shovel, just like many of the other ready-mades. There's no alteration he's making. The artistic choice is his choice to pick the snow shovel not what he does to it. So we're going to look at Bicycle Wheel. This is one of three and was never considered original by the artist. Because he creates multiples, he never considers one of them original. As I said, this subverts sort of the one of the base concepts of the art market, the idea that there must be an original and everything else must be some kind of copy. Now, quote, in 1913, recalls Duchamp, I had the happy idea to fasten a bicycle wheel to a kitchen stool and watch it turn. It's all about, imagine him just sort of spinning that wheel and watching the spokes as it goes around. We've all done it with a bike at some point. The result, which is called bicycle wheel, is the first of his ready-made objects, sometimes manufactured or mass-produced. And these objects are selected by the artist from and designated as art. So it's his designation. It's as if he's saying, you know what? Society gave me a role. Society said that as an artist, I get to choose what is art. And so I'm using that choice to declare this to be art. Most of his ready-mades were individual objects that he repositioned or sometimes in the case of fountain, the urinal, signed and called art. But bicycle wheel is what he called an assisted ready-made, made by combining more than one utilitarian item to form a work of art. So it's not simply grabbing a stool and putting it in the gallery, but he has to do something with it. He has to put a hole in it so he can mount that bicycle wheel and create this assisted ready-made. But it goes back to his general idea of ready-mades taking things that already exist and using his role that society has given him as an artist to declare them art, whether society agrees or not.